Today I'm going to be sharing a bunch of different stuff from um, some different shops, some Etsy stickers, some stuff from Michaels, some planner accessories, so kind of all over the place. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and start with Michaels first and just a note that I will include links in the description box if you only want to see something from like a particular shop. Um, you can click those and go to that because um, I know these videos can get a little long. So let me start with Michaels. As you can see here, I picked up some stuff from the Recollections collection. Um, I am super excited. So this is like the new personal size planner that everybody has been showing on Instagram. They are originally $20, but you can always find at least a 40% off coupon, if not 50% off. So it comes down to like 10 or 12 bucks. And I thought um, they were gonna feel kind of like cheap and it's like definitely not like real leather, but I don't like real leather anyway, cause I'm a vegetarian, but like they feel like nice. Like they're really not that bad. Um, and I, they had such a nice variety of colors and I was totally drawn to this white one for summer. Um, you guys, if you've seen my personal plan with me, you know I use a black Kate Spade that has a zip around, um, kind of like it can zip all the way around, and I like that, but um, A, it doesn't feel very summery, and B, it's kind of hard to like, you can't use the cute paper clips or like tassels or stuff like that as easily with a zip around. So I've been wanting to play with a planner like this. Um, so I did go ahead and pick this up. It includes some really great dividers, like actually really pretty dividers. Um, so like you, there's make great things happen. This like, um, just like a gold striped one and then believe in the very best. And then you do get some inserts included. Um, and it has some to-dos. It has um, some grid paper. And actually the paper's not bad. Like sometimes when you buy these like pre-made things, they're like not as nice. It's like not as nice as so much crafting or anything, but like it's thick paper. It's not super thin. Um, like when I bought my Filofax, for example, it had like really bad thin paper, but this is actually kind of nice. And then at the back, you just have some lined pages for notes. So. Um, it's definitely like a cute little personal planner. Um, you have your pen clip. Um, I'm not going to do too much more in here today. I am planning on kind of like getting my new planner. Like I'm going to get it set up in here with like accessories and all of that and like my inserts and then I'll come and do another video showing you guys. Um, what it looks like all set up. So, um, well, if you guys are interested, let me know if below if you're interested in seeing that, but kind of like a planner walkthrough once I get everything moved over to this planner. I did also pick up this Recollections, the like some inserts to go with them. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use these. Really, I really wanted, I really wanted this like divider tab. Um, I think it's super cute. I wish that they had dividers that went all the way down because I really like these dividers. They're really sturdy and they're just like nice with the gold and the and the transparent. But um, I didn't see any packs that like had dividers that went all the way down because I just need a couple more sections. But we'll see. And then these inserts are kind of um, weekly events that have everything on one page zoomed you guys in a little um i think these actually might be nice to like track my workouts or maybe even meals um in this planner because i'm not going to use it like i really like using my so much crafting personal vertical to actually like plan out my plans but i think this could be really cute just for like taking like doing one type of activity per day um so those are those inserts they have like on the back it has like a flag on the weekly events and on the front pages it doesn't which i kind of wish it was consistent but whatever so that's, those come with those. And then you get um, to-do lists that have little check marks along the side. Kind of drives me crazy that the check marks merge with the print. I didn't realize that when I bought it, but that's okay. Um, the to-do lists come with this insert pack. And then um, keep flipping, keep flipping. And then you get these inserts that are like important events, um, which I don't know if I would use these. Um, I would try them, I would try them. I don't know like how, what you would wanna use this for. Maybe if you were planning an event and like the things you needed to get do up to that event. But then I do like this back that kind of just has like open ideas and like, don't forget. I just wish these weren't like back to front like that. Like, I wish there was just a section that just had important events and then a section with just the ideas and don't forget. But, um, oh well. And 
then finally there is a section for contacts and I actually like that a lot I don't have like contacts written I don't know um, you know I know it's like a little antiquated to because obviously everybody has it in their phone but it is kind of nice to have like like important ones in your planner with you just in case and then finally you get um, some more notes sheets and you get be this says be curious on the back which I think is super cute but again, I kind of just wish they were the same front to back. Um, I mean, I guess it like it'll look nice if you're looking at it like this, like you'll have some decoration, but um, I don't know. So yeah, so I don't know that the, I'm like as excited about the inserts. I just wanted to see, pick them up to see what they were about, but I'm definitely excited for the planner itself. And I think it's a really nice option if you want a more affordable personal planner as opposed to like a Kiki K or a Kate Spade. Like it's a lot, it's a lot more affordable. So. That was everything that was the Recollections like planner. I did also pick up some Recollections washi because it was like 50% off. So um, we have here these two small sets. Um, I'll take them out. You can see here, I just thought these were so pretty. Um, do I need more like teal flower washi? Probably not, but I just really liked this. Not gonna lie, I'm trying to find the edge. Oh, here it is thought this was so so pretty it reminded me of like a, a two little bees set that she recently put out um but yeah I really like that there's that one and then this orange one I don't have any orange washi really so I thought that was nice And then this set, I loved this print. Um, I think it's like great for spring or fall. I think it works really well in both. I think it's so, so pretty. Really liked that. And then it came with this cute little, like kind of almost like a wood tones or natural, I don't know, that has little quotes, hello, that has hello beautiful in different fonts. So those are those two little washi packs. And again, like these, oops, these like the two pack does retail for like $3.99 or $4.99, but Recollections is always 50% off like every other week. So you can get it for pretty affordable. And then finally I did get this. And here I probably won't lay all of these out, but it's these beautiful geode ones. Some of them have gold foil in them. Some of them have like um, text on them. So let me show you this one. This one says adventure awaits super cute i've been really trying to find the tea time recollections washi set the one with that beautiful green washi that everybody on instagram has and i'm very jealous of i haven't been able to find it but i have found all of these other washi sets from recollections lately that i've also loved like look at this one how stunning is this come on like with the gold foil i don't know if the light's catching the foil that well but um it's super pretty in person I just love that. There's the, and then another one with the pink. This one has a little bit more foiling, so you might be able to see it a little better. I just think these are so pretty. This one says, hello, beautiful again. This one says, enjoy today. This one says, so much fun. Oh, what else does it say? Let's open it up. And again, with the gold foil, like, life is good, beautiful, a beautiful day, so much fun. And I've really been enjoying doing like um, washi only plan with me's or like washi and happy planner stickers. I'll link to a playlist down below where I've tried out a couple of those lately. Um, I think these like more decorative and fun washies are really good for that. So um, that's all another reason I've been enjoying purchasing these. So, so that is everything from Michael's. Okay, so up next is the uh, June mystery kit from Thumbprints Co. Um, I got her kit last month in May and I loved it so much. I'll link to the, um, plan with me I did with that below. Um, so I definitely stayed subscribed for June. I'm not sure if I will for July just cause I have a lot of kits already, but I had seen a sneak of this as well. And I just loved this. I thought it was so pretty. So, um, this is what it comes with. Um, right on top, you can see that there's a Le Pen pen and it's in teal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and. Well, I'll take that off later. It's kind of bugging me though. I'm gonna try and take it off now. 
Okay, there's that. And so, yeah, let me open up everything in here. So right on top, you can see that she has these great post-its. Um, you only make progress when you stick your head out, which is, which is so cute for a turtle theme, isn't it? Um, let me show you the pen. And Le Pen pen's kind of right, like, like a marker almost. Um, it's kind of that, it's not like a gel pen. It's very, it's like a marker feel, um, which, yeah. So these are the post-its that you get, which are super cute for like a little add-on. Then she also includes, um, at least this month and last month, she included both times um, like a paper that coordinates um, that you could use as like a dashboard in a personal size planner, which I think is so neat. Or maybe you could, I don't know what else you would do with it. Um, other people more creative than I would probably could find things to do with it. But um, I think it'd be really cute as like a dashboard in a personal size planner. You could even laminate it if you had that. Um, and then attached to it is this adorable little turtle paper clip, which I just love this. I think this is so cute. Like, you know, it's like the little things in life. That just makes me really happy for some reason. I just think it's so cute. Um, so that, those are kind of the extras of the, of everything, which I think is a lot and, um, was really awesome. And then, um, here are, here is the actual kit, um, for her, um, mystery kits at least the two that i've gotten they've all and even her sticker kits they've all been in like this um kind of really nice premium matte feeling i ended up really liking writing on them in the week i did with her may mystery kit it was just it's just really easy to write with like a lot of different pens um and it felt really comfortable um, I noticed, or somebody mentioned in the comments, um, that their Thumbprints Co. stickers were glossy, and I think her Doodle stickers are glossy. I have a Doodle sampler from her, and those are glossy, but these, um, for her kids, it's definitely matte, um, in what I've seen so far, and I don't see an option to do otherwise, but, um, so yeah, so this, I got the vertical kit. Um, let me go ahead and show you what's in it. So first up is this cute little kind of, um, functional sheet, I guess. You have your date covers, which are super pretty. Um, you have some turtle deco, which are just, I just love these turtles. I don't know why they're cracking me up. I just think they're so cute. They remind, you know what it reminds me of? That like funny turtle from Finding Nemo. And you know, he's kind of like the surfer dude. I just like it. Um, and then you get icons over here and a pretty good variety. I love these colors. They're so, so pretty. Um, really, really nice. Um, Next is your half boxes, and I love how many she includes. She also includes three quarter boxes, and she has a good variety of like solids and prints. Next are your little things, um, and you get um, plenty of uh, meals for the week. You get TVs, packages. Um, I remember the only thing that it didn't really have was something for my uploads, but she includes stuff for your sidebar that you could use there. So um, that's what I did when I used the main mystery kit. And here is this sheet, kind of like a various functional sampler. You get your um, quote box, try to be like a turtle at ease in your own shell, which is very cute. Um, some checklists, another half box, some more icons, some cute little like kind of cutout icons, like plan to plan and some happy mail. Those are very cute. You get your weekend banner, some headers, and then like some sidebar headers. I really like that she has social media. I thought that was really useful the week that I had that. Um, and then your bill dues. And then this sheet has more full boxes um, and then your headers and then the rest of these little heart checklists. And then here are your ombre heart checklists and you get a nine, so you get plenty to do the full week and your sidebar and then you get two weekly um, ombre lists um, and one habit tracker. And then finally, it's the washi sheet. You get your bottom washi, you get your regular washi. I like that she did a mix of solid and printed. And then you get a bunch of appointment boxes, which is great, because I really like using those. Um, so yeah, so I thought this kit was super pretty. I just love the colors. Um, and like I said, I don't know why the turtles are cracking me up for some reason. I just think they're really fun. Um, so yeah, definitely, I'm not sure when I'm gonna get a chance to use this kit, but definitely looking forward to using it. Um, and definitely glad I got this month's subscription. 
Next up is another mystery box. Um, this one is from Caress Press. I had seen, I didn't get her one last month. Hers is not a subscription, it's just like a buy. You can buy it and then um, once it's ready, it ships out. Um, she included a sneak peek on her Instagram that it was gonna have kind of um, almost these colors and um, it would be like crafting or knitting themed. Um, and so, um, I just loved the colors in the sneak peek that she featured and I love Crest Press kits So I was like, let me try this out because I'd never ordered one of her like mystery boxes um, and Yeah, I just wanted to I saved this piece even though I like clearly pulled it off because I thought it was so cute that she even made the label outside match the theme of the kit so um, very nice So let me open this up and I you know obviously um, if you don't want, if you haven't seen it yet and you don't want to be spoiled, don't look. But I think, you know, I think most people have gotten them by now. So, comes like this. Um, it says Live Love Craft June Mystery Kit. And so, um, it's kind of formatted like one of her normal kits, which I was like a little bit, that's the only thing, the only negative. I love this kit. It's the, it's the absolute only negative I would say was that it wasn't like, sometimes when it's like a mystery kit or a mystery box, you get like an extra or like an extra deco sheet or like post-its or a pen or something like that. This did not include that and it was just priced like her normal kits. But um, it's a beautiful kit and I really like that she included like a sneak peek so you could decide if you wanted it. Um, so yeah, so, but I'm just not really sure, you know, why not just release it as a regular kit, I guess is my one question if you're not gonna do the extras. That's just like the only thing that I'm not really clear on. But um, I really did like this kit so I'm glad I picked it up. So right on top is kind of this little fun, I guess, sampler. So it has some really cute um, like deco stuff, like the knitting, the love, um, the flowers, and then you have some more functional stuff. Like I love the butt first coffee, that's so cute. I hope she sells that like in a multicolor sheet, I would buy that. Um, movie night, laundry, uh, don't forget an appointment box. I think this is really great, a date night. Um, and I got this kit even though I am not like a knitter or a sewer. Um, I know one of my subscribers, Jen Lucas, if you're watching this, I hope you, I saw your comment that you got this kit. So I hope you like it because I, I definitely thought of you when I saw this. Um, but I am not a knitter, so I um, did not, I, I don't, but I was still really attracted to it just because I love these muted purples and pinks. I thought those were so pretty. And I kind of consider myself a crafter now that I do um, planning. So anyway, so that's the first sheet. And of course this is on Crest Press's beautiful paper. Really, really smooth, really easy to write on when you do a, a when you actually plan with it. Um, and it's really thick. It just feels so thick. Um, and then here's the header sheet. I love this color. That is a beautiful color. Um, and you get, you know, enough for a full week and then have some good sidebar stuff. And then the half boxes, eight half boxes, four quarter boxes, a good mi mix of printed and solid, but I do like that even for the solid, she puts some stuff with the theme. I think that's really nice detail. Makes it feel special. Um, next is the little things, um, and you get enough for a full week. And then it also has your bill dues down here and a good variety of different kind of stuff for little things. Then this sheet, um, you get your checklist and little checklist, um, flags, longer flags, some icons, weekend banner, and then this cute little coffee cup. Then this um, sheet that has your date headers or date covers, um, which are so pretty. I just love these flowers. I thought they were so pretty. Um, and then sidebar stuff. So two weekly checklists, two habits, and like a little list. I really like this. And then you could either write it in or you can use one of her headers to cover up that white. So I like that a lot. And then here are the full boxes, and I mean, they're so pretty. This says Live Love Craft. It's so cute. Design a life you love. I just love this. I loved this print. Like, this was, I think, the print, or maybe this was, that she showed um, in her sneak peek, and I was like, yeah, no, I need that. Um, and then this, like, little knitting thing on top. I think this is just really fun, even if you're not a knitter. Um, I just think this is really cool. Um, and then this kit, or this sheet is the washi sheet, so most of it's printed washi, but then you do get some solid washi on the side. And her kits are always so big that like you end up with a lot of leftovers, so you can either, like you can kind of make like another like white space spread or a spread in your personal planner because you get so much stuff. Um, and then here are the um, heart checklists, and she didn't make them ombre, they're just kind of open. I like that, I think um, it looks really clean and nice. This is, these are really pretty. 
And then finally the bottom washi, and you get one piece of really thick bottom washi and then some thinner stuff. Um, and you get some more deco items over there. So all in all, a very cute kit. I really like it. My one thing is just like, I'm not really clear why she didn't just release it in her shop. Um, but other than that, I'm really happy with this and definitely would try this out again. I don't know how this all was organized. She had it organized so nicely. Like when you open it up, you see it. It's like visually pleasing. Um, so that's Caress Presses. That's it from Caress Press. Next is an order I am so excited about. This is Little Miss Papery. It is um, my haul from like her kind of free for all sale when basically she let it have open stock for the entire weekend. And if you shop at Little Miss Papery, you know that sometimes or a lot of times her stock runs out. So um, it was very exciting. I was excited. So um, I pretty much got everything that I had been wanting and probably more, um, but I am very, excited for this so um right on top you can see a um, sampler sheet this is in matte um and it is i think a theme of one of her upcoming kits it's super cute i always hang on to these because inevitably i'm going to buy the full kit or at least part of the kit from her so this is like you can bring that in when you finally use the kit so that's awesome and then this was the May personal size sheet. This is the only sheet I got in matte. Uh, the glossy was out of stock. This was like um, heavily discounted because it was like towards the end of May and she had already released her June stuff. So I just picked this up just to have it. Honestly, let's be real. I picked it up for this zone right here, which is so cute. Um, and But I, I, I just like having her stickers and I think the pink and mint, um, I use those colors enough in my spreads that it's useful to have this. Okay, and then we're gonna get into um, the stuff that I ordered. I'm gonna kinda go kit by kit. I kinda organized them a little bit already. So first up, I picked up stuff from her June monthly stuff. I did not get the full um, monthly, or the full, like, a full kit worth of stuff. Like, I didn't get headers. Um, I didn't get little things because I decided I wasn't gonna do a spread in my Erin Condren. I'm gonna do a spread in my So Much Crafting inserts. Um, and I, just one, so I just got stuff that I would need for that. I got the full boxes, um, and I like that she has a good variety, especially when I'm using those inserts of like plain and printed because the plain can kind of just, you know, it, sometimes it looks a little busy in the how small those so much crafting inserts are. They are so small that if you do all no white space, it can look a little busy, but this kind of helps tamper it down a little. But um, I love this. I just thought the way she brought in the gold glitter was so pretty, I had to, um, had to get this, so that's super pretty. And then I just got like the two page vertical kit. Um, and so this has on it um, her, it has half boxes, has checklists, has bill dues, habits, all of her awesome icons, um, regular circle icons. I love all of her stuff there. And then the second sheet has your weekend banner, a little June. Um, it has um, kind of washy or like you can even sometimes I use the non-printed ones almost like appointment labels I think they're functional like that um, the heart checklist and some headers so definitely a good variety here so and I actually might be being a bad youtuber you might see the personal plan with me for this um, before I post this haul um, if that's the case I will link it below otherwise it'll be coming up next week so then the next kit I got was the um, two page kit for the princess set. I actually already have the little things for the princess set um, because I got those in a grab bag from Little Miss Papery. So I decided to pick this up as well and I'm gonna do just kind of, again, a, a kit just in my inserts. This one won't be full no white space because I didn't pick up the full boxes to go with it. Um, but I really thought this was pretty. Again, it's formatted the same. She always, actually, she always does it like a little bit differently. Like she'll include some deco that goes along with the kit. Like just for example, here she has the crown because it's the princess kit, but here she has the feather to go with kind of June themed. But for the most part, you get the same types of stickers in the in there um, although here you have habit trackers and here you don't huh so next up is the bloom kit um, and I got all these sheets in glossy um, right on top you can see the headers um, to do today little list and then some cute stuff for your sidebar very cute Next is her full boxes. You get some really nice quote boxes. I like this one, when nothing goes right, go left. 
um, some cute printed ones, and then some more plain ones. And I'm not sure, but the this clip art looks very similar to like the Caress Press flowers. I don't, I don't know if they're the exact same. If they are, it just goes to show how different kits can look based on colors and how they're used and everything. They might not be the exact same though, I might be wrong. Um, but yeah, it's super cute. Um, really like these full boxes. Next is the little things. And just to note that Little Miss Papery's little things are thicker. Um, so on the one hand, I really like that because you can almost use them like kind of almost like appointment boxes, especially in the personal inserts. They like mark things you know, almost like a quarter box would. But on the other hand, they do tend to stack higher, and also you kind of run out of room quickly for them in the personal planner, so that's why I didn't really get them for the June one. I'm kind of regretting it. I wish I had gotten them, but um, oh well. And this one I'm gonna do in my Erin Condren, so I'll have plenty of room. And then finally, I got this two-page kit. Um, again, um, a little bit different down in this corner. You're getting some cute little flower deco. But you get all of her awesome ones, like the date night, the plan, the me time. I just love this. This corner is just my jam. Um, four half boxes, and then um, the heart checklist. And then the second page has washi, the hello, ombre heart checklist, and more headers. And I guess I'm realizing I didn't pick up the ombre heart checklist for this kit. I don't know why. Um, that was kind of dumb. Um, I definitely can use these checklists, or I could go back and get them. I probably won't use this kit in the next couple weeks, but I think I'm gonna try it with some white space and just use those, but um, she definitely makes the ombre art checklist. I just didn't pick them up for some reason. And then finally, last but not least, is this Daydream kit. And I decided to do something a little different for this kit. I already had one sheet of the personal kit for the Daydream set um, from Little Miss Papery because she had released that first. And on that, it has some half boxes, some icons, some like little labels, a couple of headers. So I decided to just get this two page kit, but instead of getting the vertical, I actually got the horizontal. And I'm planning on using it in my So Much Crafting personal inserts. Um, I thought I would try it. The width of her horizontal stickers is the exact same as the vertical. Um, and it's just that this, the boxes are a little bit shorter. Um, I heard somebody say, I don't remember if it was Plan Lache or... Oh, I forget, Glamour, plan I forget. Somebody, someone on YouTube made the note that you can get the horizontal boxes for the um, personal size inserts, which, because they're the same width, but just a little shorter, so you have some more room, which I thought was a great idea. I'm definitely gonna do that in the future. Um, but for this one, I just got this two-page kit, but I liked this one a little bit better than the vertical, or rather, I don't know that I liked it better. I wanted to try this instead of the vertical in my um, planner inserts um, for a couple of reasons. I really liked that you, in addition to the four half boxes, you also get these four quarter boxes. I thought those would be really functional. Um, I also like that you got little heart checklists. You can always cut one of these down, but um, they're already made for you. Obviously, it still has all of her great icons, so like none of that has changed. And then these lists are just a little bit shorter, so if you use one of those, you still have more room. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to try this out. I thought it'd be like something fun. The next week probably wouldn't work in the, um, like so much crafting inserts. The weekend banner, I think I could put right down the middle of Saturday and Sunday and it would still look cute. Um, I will admit when I bought these, I'm not familiar with horizontal as much for, so I was thinking that these were like thick strips that you could kind of cut to fit, but they are two thin strips, which I still think could look really cute, like kind of along the bottom, um, and top of your inserts. Um, so I'll probably use them like that, but just to note that those are, those are like two smaller, um, strips in each print, not one thick strip. So I don't I wanted to try it out, see if it maybe works a little bit better for the personal inserts than the vertical does. Um, but I, yeah, I'm gonna try it out. So, very cute. So that's everything from Little Miss Papery. I'm so excited. I just love her shop. I think she has such a unique look to her stickers. Um, and yeah, definitely be on the look at least for this Hello June um, plan with me coming up soon, if not out already. And then the final shop is Willow Fields. In this um, order was actually mostly paper clips. Um, I got a few sheets of stickers, but mostly like kind of more planner supplies than stickers. Here is my order. I do like everything I got. 
basically I went ham on these planner clips. I like want to get more into this like planner supplies decoration. Like I was saying, I have that new personal planner. Um, and I want to do like more cute paper clips and tassels and all of that. So she has a lot of really cute ones. Um, and I just happen to already know her shop. So I decided to get those. Um, right here though is a little sampler freebie, which is awesome. Um, it has a lot of like functional stuff like grocery bags, trash cans, mail, all that stuff. And it's in kind of pinks and reds and that's in matte. Um, very nice. And then here are all the paper clips. I'm not gonna take them all out of their packages, but I'll just show you what I did pick up. She was having a special where it was like, um, in addition to the 25% off, she also added a coffee cup um, a paper clip in a color of your choice. So I got this, this cute pink one. I really like that. I think that's really fun. I hope it's showing up okay on camera, no glare. Yeah, I think you're okay. Um, so I really like that. I also got the gold coffee cup because I just think this is such a cute paper clip. I really like this. Then I got the love one. I got the TGIF in pink. I thought that was really cute for the end of the week. This cute little camera with a heart in the middle. Very cute. I think these are really nice looking paper clips. Um, then this cat, I thought this was so cute with the little heart tail, so, so cute. Um, and then OMG, which is just fun. So those are the paper clips. And then I did order two sheets of stickers. So um, this is her kit called Elsie Jane, Elsa Jane. And I guess it's like based around her daughter's favorite things. So it's kind of random. It's like mermaids and whatever these are called, Scottish terriers and like dresses and feathers and like, it's very random. So I decided not to get the entire kit. I thought the designs were beautiful, but I didn't really want to get the entire kit because I couldn't imagine doing a full week with like mermaids and dogs. Like it's just too weird. But I decided to pick up these two things as kind of like accents. Like I could easily just pull in just the mermaids. Like if I did a mermaid week, like mermaids in the shells. And then another week, if I did more like a glam week, I could do kind of like the fancy dogs and the fancy dresses, you know? So just got this kind of as a, pure deco sheet. Um, I thought it was super pretty. And then I got this um, sheet, the uh, full boxes that coordinate with it as well. I thought it, you could, again, do it kind of like maybe the under the sea and like feathers stuff like one week and then the other stuff another week um, in my like personal inserts where I don't need as many full boxes. I thought that might be like a good way to use this. I just thought these were so pretty. I didn't want to pass them up. I didn't really jive with like the overall themes. So that's why I didn't get the full kit, but I thought the individual designs were so beautiful that I wanted to have part of it. So that's everything for this haul, guys. Um, kind of a random assortment of stuff, you know, Michaels, Etsy, planner supplies, stickers, all sorts of stuff. But um, I'm really excited about everything I got. Let me know down below if you picked up any of these same things or if you have any questions about the kits that I didn't cover, happy to answer them. Um, and yeah, thank you as always for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you wanna keep seeing um, sticker hauls and planner supply hauls. And I'll be back soon with another video. Thanks, bye.